In some cases, the design focus is set on the structural response due to harmonic excitation. A so-called harmonic response analysis should be performed in order to identify and quantify resonance problems. Another motivation can be the use of harmonic results as input for a following acoustic analysis. ANSYS Workbench offers the framework for efficient analysis methods to predict the sustained dynamic behavior of your structure. Even pre-stressed states resulting from previously run analysis can be considered. The following example will show the convenient handling of coupled analysis systems with respect to harmonic analysis. As an example, a heatsink mounted on two chips will be analyzed. The assembly is mounted on a PCB which is part of an electronic control unit subjected to vibrations. The analysis should reveal frequencies where shear stresses might influence the adhesive layer between heatsink and chips or even the soldered connection between the chips and the PCB. The efficient technique of mode superposition allows a fast calculation of the structural response. But what does mode superposition mean? In contrast to the time-consuming full method where full system matrices are used to calculate an exact solution of displacements, mode superposition means that eigenvectors from a preceding model analysis are scaled by a frequency-dependent weighting factor. Here you can see, for instance, different mode shapes for a simple geometry. For a harmonic excitation, with a unit force at 100 Hz, the weighted superposition of mode shapes delivers a fast structural response. In the present case, we assign the appropriate materials to the heatsink and the chips and mesh the assembly. The analysis settings for the model analysis should cover a frequency range from 0 to 3000 Hz to make sure that all mode shapes contributing to the later calculated structural response are evaluated. The solid connection is represented by a fixed support at the bottom edges of the chip packages. After solving, one can briefly check the mode shapes and related frequencies. The next step is the definition of the harmonic excitation. Therefore, a unit force pointing perpendicularly to the heatsink fins is defined. The analysis settings contain the excitation frequency range as well as the information about mode superposition and result clustering near the structure's natural frequencies. This means that results will be refined automatically around the critical frequencies without the need to explicitly define where those frequencies are. After solving, we can analyze, for instance, the frequency response plot for the deformation of a vertex in x-direction. It reveals that an excitation frequency of 596 Hz will stimulate a natural mode shape. But what happens with the identified critical vibration frequency in terms of thermal loading conditions due to loss power effects in one of the chips? First, we create a series of coupled systems based on our available harmonic response analysis. The results of the steady-state thermal analysis are used as initial conditions for the evaluation of thermally induced stresses. This, in turn, is the basis for the pre-stressed state for the model analysis. 
The normalized graph of the frequency response shows that the equivalent resonance mode shape now is stimulated at 580 Hz. This might be an important information with respect to operating points of adjacent drives. To summarize, ANSYS Workbench allows us to analyze efficiently the dynamic structural response of harmonic excitations with the help of mode superposition. Moreover, the effect of pre-stressed states can be examined easily by coupling analysis systems. Now it's up to you to identify resonance frequencies of your assembly and hence gain more knowledge of your design.